What's up everyone? This is me, Sean. I just wanted to quickly say a few words before I start the game here, guys. So, first of all, I did want to apologize for really not uploading anything on my second channel in a long time, but I have a game that everyone says is amazing and I've wanted to play for so long. And it finally came out, and when it came out I didn't have the money to buy it, but now I have it. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to play Horizon Zero Dawn. So, I just wanted to add this quick apology at the beginning saying I'm sorry for not really uploading. But I will get back into Batman. But for now, I'm going to start Horizon Zero Dawn. So, let's go ahead and get into the game. Also, right here, I'm going to add that I actually know absolutely nothing about this game. Oh man, it looks beautiful! It's so good and snowy. What's that now? Don't like the cold? Can't stay in today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. Oh, really? Sounds ominous. Here. Wear this. It belonged to my daughter. Good. Today, I speak your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? Maybe. Oh man, this is going to be a heartwarming tale. Probably not, because I know some point she gets kicked out of something and does something bad. Probably. I'm guessing. Normally it would be the mother who declares. If you had one. The whole village would attend, and matriarchs perform the ritual. But we are outcasts. No. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. Oh, man. But their wickedness doomed them. Look at all that stuff. To us, we're left the splendors of creation. Beasts of air, water, earth, and steel. And there they are. Look at them. Oh, they look so awesome. There's a weird flat-headed one of two. That's so cool. It's so it cool. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this one day. So something I didn't know is that they are already outcasts. I thought she ended up getting like outcast or something at the beginning of the game. I thought something like that was going to happen, but I guess not. But this game looks absolutely beautiful. Tirsa. What is she doing here? Does she mean to forbid the ritual? No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you. But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go. Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. 
that your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! Aloy! And so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough. And you, blessing its name like it was one I of I know my duty to them. Tribe. And to you. Without consultation. I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow. Okay. Well, I already want to punch her in the face. Do I get to do that in this game? I hope I do. Because I really want to punch her right in her flat-nosed face. And also, why does, why does Horizon... The word Horizon, why does that look like a bunch of unknown Pokemon <laughs> put together? All right. Oh, we, we're at a screen, a menu. Did not know that. Okay, so I'm actually going to go ahead and just do a couple things here in the settings. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's start that. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and let's get right into the game. And what difficulty, I guess for the first, for the first playthrough, I'm going to go normal. Just so, you know, I can get a hang of it. So it looks like she's a little sneaky snake, and she's gonna sneak some blueberries. Mmm. Alright. Let's see her sneak some blueberries. Oh, that's a lot of berries. You're quite the gatherer, aren't you, little boss? Now go and see if you can find some more. Hmm? Well done. That's oh. <laughs> Children, come with me. Oh, that's she sad. To be shunned. There. Oh, come on. So, I'm very curious now, what the heck happened that they're so scared of her? Because something obviously happened. And here's where she breaks everything. Right? How many things did you just break? You broke everything, didn't you? Alright, how did you not break everything? <laughs> that looked like a hard fall with a bunch of rocks and bad things. Rost is no longer looking for you. <sighs> yeah. Okay, a gift from the past. Then I guess I'm playing Little Aloy. Yes, just like sewers, which is apparently where they think you belong. I don't know why that is, but maybe we'll learn sooner or, or later, not sooner. I was going to say hopefully sooner than later. But that's not exactly what came out of my mouth now, is it? Okay. Looks tight, but I can get through. Okay, just take a little dive. It's pretty cool too. All right. This must be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. Yeah. You know, it's called probably a laboratory where bad things went down, and uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's basically what this is. That is the uh, the actual name of it. The place. Of science, where something went d down, and uh, yeah, that's the name of it. Out. 
Yes, alright, so... Is there anything I can really do besides do petty little jumps? Anything? I can squat? Uh, can I fight? I cannot fight if I need to, that's not good. Alright, well, let's just keep going, I guess. Through the next metal door. And there's a staircase, finally! What is up it? Staircase? Where do you lead? Uh, that looks like bad things. Although, th those are probably like old electric panels or something. I don't know. For a second I thought... Crap! Those are some loud bats. <laughs> that scared me. I thought those were like, uh, those little, um... Things! I don't know what they're called. But they, it's, that you see them in all sorts of like cop crime shows and whatnot. It's where they put the dead bodies when they're investigating them. That's what it looked like to me. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's check out uh, what's over here. What is this? What's that? Is, is that a person? Better not be a person. Oh, it is. It is. Uh, yeah, that, that guy's been there for a little, little bit of time. I don't know. All right, so let's go ahead and let's inspect the uh, strange device implanted in this guy's skull. Why does he have a strange device implanted in his skull? Okay. So what? what is it? It's a triangle. It's Illuminati. Confirmed. Illuminati is what brought the uh, end of the world to us. Whoa. Okay, now I'm curious. I want to know what the heck this is. Is this like some sort of magic earpiece? What the heck is it? Is it a brain implant? What is it? Okay. Oh! <clears throat> Voice crack. It's some sort of thingamabobber, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Can I now interact? Okay, I guess I might be able to interact with things. Cool. Alright. Sweet. So, can I interact with you? Please? No. So, find a way out. So, the way out seems to be up here. Okay, so maybe we can open it with this thing. So, use a device to scan the room. How do you turn it on? How do I get it on? Act oh, R3. R3. Oh, okay, sweet. I got it. So, let's see what we got here. What is this? Bunker door. Blast door heavily shielded. Seal integrity maintained. Alright, so we gotta figure out how to open this. Power cable. Reinforced platinum conductor. Bunker door. Okay, so, what things can I scan? Sorry, hollow lock, electromagnetic security mechanism with standard holographic UI. What's that, a vending machine? It's connected to the door somehow. So which shape is connected to the door? It would be uh, th this guy. This guy's connected to the door. So what is it called again? The hollow lock. So we gotta go uh, figure out what the heck to do with the hollow lock. Because, you know, I need to get out of here and stuff. Alright, sweet. I don't know why I keep saying sweet. But let's let's go and uh, turn whatever knob I must turn. All right, so turn hollow counterclockwise. All right, let's turn it counterclockwise. All right, let's turn it clockwise. Again. And again. Okay. Changed color. And is the door opening now? No. It looks like the door hasn't opened yet, but hopefully. It's got that little hollow thing on the on the front of it, so I should be able to just, you know, turn it a couple times and, you know, it'll be all, all nice and good and dandy. Okay. So, open the door! Very nice. Oh. This place looks, uh, dark and forebodingly purple. That's not, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, what's through here? What have you got for me, game? What horrors of the... The scientific realms have you got for me. Okay, anything back here? Any secrets? Any secrets? Alright, no secrets. Alright, let's keep going. Okay. Doo -doo. That's another person. Yikes! Like the 
Sound. Yeah. And it's still on. So is it still alive <laughs> is uh, the thing that I, I want to know. And if it is alive, may I kill it? What? <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Show me. Show me again. I can do. He's right behind you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Okay, so that was that was pretty sad. That guy definitely died a long time ago because that was back when the Earth was still modern, as in our times, and not this. All right, so. Does this door just open for me? Alright, I guess I... It doesn't. <laughs> oh, I can no longer go through that. That's not good. Okay, well, since there's an objective marker over there, I'm just gonna come over here and see what else we have. Another scannable! Alright, I keep forgetting the button. What is it? Alright, let's go ahead and let's play it. It says, Log Connor Chasen. Voice log recorded January 1st, 2066, right? Yeah. 2066... D data corruption partial. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's play it and see what he has to say. Okay, well that was interesting. He seems like a cheery dude. <laughs> yeah, no, not really. Okay, what else do we have in here? There's got to be something else. Yes, there is. What are you? Oh, you're a dead man. That's not good. Um, full stop voice log corruption severe. Let's play it. I saw them lining up in the community room. Like cattle in a slaughterhouse, but smiling at each other. Sean and Andy. Wow. Okay. I'm just going to be on my way. Uh, yeah. That that guy, I guess he just, he had it. <laughs> and then he went, he went boom. And uh, that's, that's never a good sound. Especially when you're talking like that. These people are just so, they're such downers. Why are they such downers, man? I don't get it. Well... You see, there is a point to where people starve, or thirst to death, or stuff, I don't know. Okay. Let's go, let's go meet up with Rost. Oh, okay, I guess I'm not gonna parkour. I thought I was gonna parkour. Come girl, take my hand. Alright. You don't belong down there. Come. Alright. So, Rost finally found me, that's pretty good. Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. No. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! <laughs> Well, 
well. If you're gonna go sneaking away from home, you need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. Starting tomorrow, we'll learn to hunt. <laughs>